So here are the materials that we'll be using today. I've got a C-clamp, a couple of springs, we've got an um, uh, experimental mass wrapped with wire. This was found in my front yard. And we've got a, um, a small um, fixture tool that I had made in the machine shop several years ago. I thought it would be appropriate to use that for this. Uh, we've got a scale. Uh, we can weigh the mass and give people an idea of what we're working with. We've got a uh, stopwatch application on my phone. We've got a yardstick. Actually, it's a it's a square for measuring and cutting drywall, but it, it will suffice as a yardstick. We also have a tall bucket of water in a pretty translucent bucket so that we can actually see the oscillation. So here's the test set up here. Um, and you see I've got my C-clamp on the edge of a uh, counter here. I've got my little fixture tool, got the springs hanging from the, uh, the tip here, and I'm going to go ahead and weigh the, weigh the rock. I'm going <clears> to <throat> zero out the scale here and turn it to grams. So the, wa the rock weighs 405 grams. And so what we'll do is take the rock and hook it on the spring. And what we'll do is use the, the shadow that's cast on the yardstick here to show the initial displacement looks like uh, well approximately 21 inches okay so we are about ready to start the test here uh, initial deflection on the rock using the shadow as our indicator is at 21 inches we will do an initial deflection of two inches down to 23. And as soon as I release the weight, uh, we'll begin timing the oscillation and count down until it comes to a, a virtual stop. And we'll begin that now. You can see here we've got the timer running. I guess I should put that, I can put that right here so you can keep an eye on it while we've got it running. Say six minutes and 
42 seconds. 6 minutes and 42 seconds. And 42.7 seconds. Um, next thing we're going to do is repeat the experiment um, with uh, water as the damping fluid instead of just the air. Current setup um, we have the we have the rock sorry our test mass suspended by string uh, the springs into this bucket of water um, ideally it's not going to touch the edge so I may need to move that a little bit anyway so here it is in the bucket of water um, I set it up such that the uh, light is behind the bucket that way we can sort of see the silhouette of the rock here. Um, unfortunately that makes it really hard to see the the yardstick so I've got a an extra piece of equipment here that I failed to include at the very beginning of the video which is a flashlight and we'll shine that on there uh, periodically so that we can monitor the amplitude of the oscillations. So. I'm going to go ahead and get this started now. And we're going to do the same amount of initial deflection at two inches. Alright, so it looks init like initially we're at about, I'd say about 29 inches. So we're going to do the initial deflection at 27 inches. And there we go again. Yeah, a little bit of movement still. It may be hard to see on the camera, but it's still oscillating slightly. I think that's probably good. So, about 50 seconds or so. I stopped it a little late. <laughs> 